time for Reform UK leader Richard Tice. Now, Tice's resurgent Reform Party are planning to stand a candidate against a Tory in every constituency possible, but they're having a little bit of trouble with some candidate selections. Watch this interview on GB News, where Richard Tice, leader of the Reform Party, comes off as a dodgy car salesman, trying to turn a negative into a positive. Yeah, I have to ask, when it comes to fielding some candidates, like in South Shropshire, apparently a slew of comments posted online, uh, some people saying that you know, Attenborough should be killed off, brown babies was one of the jokes there. Yeah, Making derogatory it's comments very, about... It's, it's very simple. How We've always said... That? OK, let's hear how he excuses himself. It's, it's all very simple. We've always said if people make inappropriate, totally unacceptable comments, then we will fire them. And we are the fastest uh, people to do that. Because the people that they're suspending haven't even been vetted yet. They've just filled in a form. Fastest political party. We don't suspend someone for six or 12 months mm. like the Labour Party. Mm. We haven't got a bunch of sexual weirdos like the Tory party. Right? We've got anti-Semitism allegations the Daily Telegraph has revealed about George Galloway's party. Every party mm. has their issues. The question is how quickly you deal with it. What? And we are the fastest. Fine. And the thing, the thing about the vetting, Patrick. Now listen to this. Which many people forget to realise is that it's like an MOT. It's only valid the moment you do it. If someone posts someone completely inappropriate mm. the following day, right, mm. they pass yeah. the first what, vetting what process. Happens, what happens? At I wouldn't like to go to the car mechanic who does Richard Tice's MOT. Anyway, now listen, the Tice basically declares the Reform Party vetting process is done by gathering a lot of candidates, putting them out there and then letting the public discover their dirty laundry. The general election, when you've got 650 candidates, for example, and then a week before, the Labour Party do a massive deep dive into half of them, and you've got a bit... It's, it's very simple. That's why we put all our names out there, about over 400. We put it out there many months early in order that everybody scrutin could scrutinise and look into our candidates. We welcome that from whoever it is. Anyway, I've got a lovely car if you want to buy it. Beautiful run around. It is only one owner. Lady driver she was. Lovely old dear. Only had it to go to the shops, didn't she? Click here for Tice Overload.